Hey, shelves. How you doing? Hi. I don't know. I was sitting here waiting. I'm like, where is it? And then I tabbed over. I'm like, oh my god, he's been calling. <laughs> <laughs> All good, mate. All good. How are you? Yeah, we're good. We're getting there. Doing yeah. the, trying to do our best, you know, like everyone else. Nothing. Yeah. Um, oh, we don't have long. I'm sorry. Hit me with some. Yeah, no, that's okay. Hit me with some questions. We'll go quick fire. Look, I'll go quick. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, my first question was, what's your advice on creating an online program that stands out in a very heavy, heavily populated market? Okay. Um, are you looking at local to Dunsborough? Yeah. Southwest? Okay. Southwest. Work out what it is that people in the Southwest need that mm -hmm. people in Perth don't need. Mm-hmm. Yeah, work out what it is that people in Perth need that people in the Southwest don't need. There is something about people down there where like time moves a little slower. Um, they'd rather be down the beach. Make it for them. And then emphasize when you're marketing it that this is not for the type A, um, out of control, busy sort of people. This is for a laid back sort of person, you know? So um, this is online exercise for for someone who just wants to chill. Yeah, so yeah. find out what it is that you guys deliver best. Find out what it is that your avatar needs. Find out where they overlap. That thin slither of overlap on the Venn diagram is what your online program should be. Okay, do you think we're limiting ourselves from just marketing at the Southwest though? Yes, I absolutely do, but I think you should be limiting yourself. Okay. I think this is a time to niche down and say, this is what we're good at. Let's be really good at this and help these people. Yeah, okay. Um, and from a financial side of things, do you think we should be charging around the same as what we would do if we're seeing them face to face as what we are online? hundred percent. I think your, your prices should not change. I think your value should increase. Yeah. So okay. charge the same amount, but increase how much you're giving them to the point that they feel like they're getting a better deal now than they were two months ago. Yeah. Okay. And, um, obviously from working online for a while, which you have, um, one of the things that we're struggling is we could literally just work 15 hours a day on this and sometimes it ends up you banging your head against the wall. So do we just suck up and work like crazy for now because this is the world that we're in or do we try and create some kind of lifestyle because this could go for a long time? Tell me what 80% of that 15 hours is being used for. Um, it's a mixture. Some days it's creating ideas or trying to think of what that avatar is and trying to add value to everyone that's coming to us. Yep. Um, and then it's a mixture of programming, filming, okay. doing all those okay. things. All right. I've got two answers for you. The reason you spend 15 hours a day is because you don't have any existing systems in place for this. I was the same last week. It was all new. Therefore I had zero systems. Therefore I was not only having to do the work, but I was having to systemize it as well. So mm -hmm. anything that you have to do more than once, any task in this online business that has to be done twice or more, you need to create a system or a checklist for, okay? Yeah. You then need to automate this as much as possible. So there's my first half of the mm -hmm. answer. My second yeah. half of the answer is suck it up. You've got a couple more weeks of 15 hour days, yeah. but you are earning the lifestyle. Now is not the time to be a lifestyle entrepreneur. Now is the time to be someone with absolutely no life who is kicking as hard as they can to keep their head above water. But systemize at the same time, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Even when we're still in isolation, in two weeks, you're gonna be much better than you are now. Okay, cool. One more, one more question, have I got time for that? Yeah, yeah, All great. Right. Um, if you've built your business, so we built our business not so, we had an online side of it, but the model of our business is built so much on face-to-face -face connection and being there. Is now a time to be changing the structure of our business or just adding a different avenue into it? Are you talking about changing the structure of your business when you come home, when you're back? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, there are four things here. There are four. In fact, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to read you the okay. four things that I've written down for my business. Uh -huh. I'm back. So these are the four things that I'm focusing on at the moment. There are four focuses here, four opportunities. I'll record this so mm -hmm. you don't have to write these down. First okay. focus, look after your current clients now. So it's keeping your business alive now and later. Mm -hmm. Second focus, work out how to build your current business model, as in like what your business model was two weeks ago and income streams post-pandemic. 
So when okay. this is all over, the current things that, that you were doing two months ago, how can you continue to build on them to make what was your existing business even better? Number three, work out what new opportunities may exist now. So this is your online stuff that you're doing. Yeah. yeah? Number four, work out what new opportunities may exist later. It's going to be a different world post-apocalypse. Yep. So work out what new things may come around then that you say, hey, we can be on the forefront of this new product service experience idea. Those should be your four focuses. And there's a lot in that. And a lot of that is future thinking. You're maybe a couple of weeks away from that future thinking now. First work on getting down from 15 hours of work a day. Yeah, cool. Cool. Thanks. All right. Miss you guys. Yeah. Say Stay hi. well. Yeah, say hi to Cal and Molly for me. Yeah, will do. See you, mate. Yeah. Bye.